Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. Uh, we're going to do some more adaptive clearing today, so uh, let's get started. First, we're going to make uh, we're going to make a 3D part. We're going to sketch make a circle about 5 inches. Accept that. Click on it, extrude it up 1.25 inches. Hit OK. Next, we're going to select that face and sketch another circle. And this is just like a freehand part, kind of just random to, sh uh, to make a cool shape to show off the adaptive clearing. OK, well, we're going to make a cross like shape here just by sketching it out. Go two inches in all directions. Okay, that works. Go up half an inch. Go to the right. Click there. Connect it like that. Go over half an inch, hit enter. Make another line. Okay, so that should be a pretty cool looking shape. We'll hit finish sketch, we'll select the outside, not the inside, and we'll extrude that down one inch. Okay, so we have a pretty cool shape. Now we're just gonna add some fillets. We're gonna select all the edges, all the square edges. Make sure we get every single edge. There we go. We'll give it a quarter inch chamfer on all those edges. Or fillet, sorry. Fillet. Next, we have to set our part up in manufacturing. Okay, so we can add some toolpaths. Go to new setup. We'll do we'll try to make the stock cylinder by clicking relative size and then clicking on the outside circle and it just kind of makes a, a cylinder stock for us. Now we're going to experiment trying to touch this, uh, trying to find our XYZ. We're trying to put it right in the middle and on top. So now uh, we're just going through the settings, kind of looking for the, for the right setting to get our XYZ right in the middle. And right here I tried again because I kind of got lost clicking on all the wrong settings. And that happens a lot, you know. You have an interesting part with um, geometry that isn't, you know, that isn't normal. It's going to be a little bit tougher setting up, so you have to experiment with it and try to get it in the right spot. So I ended up just making my X Y Z right in the middle and not on top of the part, but kind of right on that bottom face. And that that will still work just fine for us. So, okay, that should work. Okay, it's right in the middle of the part. We can dial that part in. And now we're going to do some adaptive clearing. We create a tool, half inch end mill. Two five inches long. Okay. 
Hit OK. Now we'll select the stock. That looks good. We'll go over to passes and we're going to change the optimal load to 100 thou. That's a good starting point when you're going down about two times diameter, which we are. We have a half inch end mill going down one inch. And we left some stock on the walls, about 20 thou. Now we're going to add some speeds and feeds. I'm going to reload the page real quick. It's taking a lot of load, but that's okay. Okay, so exit out of that. We'll add 1200 surface feet because we only have 10,000 RPM spindle. Half inch, three teeth, four thou per tooth, 12 thou per rev, spindle speed 9,167. 110 inches a minute. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We'll type in our info. Hundred and ten inches a minute, hundred and ten inches a minute. Plunge at ten. Or we'll change that later. Okay, so it made a tool path. That looks pretty good. Hundred thou step over. Next we need to add a finishing contour because we left twenty thou on the walls. I always use a finishing path after adaptive clearing because adaptive clearing doesn't give the nicest finish and we always want a nice finish for your customer. Next we're going to do some chamfering. We'll make a quarter inch chamfer tool. Quarter inch. Tip diameter 5 thou. Hit OK. We'll go to passes, we'll make it a 20 thou chamfer. 40 thou is a little bit big, so 20 thou, that works. Now we'll add some speeds and feeds. Two thou per tooth, six thou per rev, 9,167 RPM, 55 inches a minute. We'll change that surface feed to 600. Okay, that checks out. So we'll type in our info. Hit OK. That looks good. Now it's time to simulate. Now, Fusion, for some reason, um, made a square block even though we made our stock a cylinder so it must be some sort of glitch and I double check the uh, the settings in the setup here so yeah it's a cylinder but in simulation it's a square block must be some sort of glitch we can just pretend that it's not a square block for now So it's going around 110 inches a minute, 100 thou step over. That looks good. We'll speed it up just a little bit. It's looking good. And it's leaving about 20 thou on the walls. That's what we want. Give a nice finish pass afterwards. There's our finish pass. There's our chamfering. That looks good. There's our uh, there's our part with some adaptive clearing. I hope you guys liked it.